If you haven't known yet, I injured my finger a few weeks ago from climbing. After reading your comments, I realized the road to recovery is often in months instead of weeks. Therefore, I've been researching what else I can do to speed up the recovery besides resting and doing rehab exercises. I came across the world-class climbing coach Eric Hurst podcast and realized nutrition might be something that I can improve on the inside. Therefore, I decided to reach out to him. If you're involved in an activity that is hard on the connective tissues, such as climbing, we have high forces that we load on the very small tendons and ligaments. Tendons and ligaments are comprised almost completely collagen and then water. Every time you climb forcefully, you are breaking down collagen. So your body needs to resynthesize collagen to return homeostasis. If you're climbing every day hard, your body falls behind and you have net collagen degradation. Injury is just a matter of time in that scenario. When you eat a protein source, there are a total of 20 amino acids, but it's the glycine and the proline, just two of those 20 amino acids that comprise nearly two thirds of the collagen in our tendons and ligaments. If you are eating foods that have lots of other amino acids, but are low in glycine and proline, there's a good chance you're deficient. Now our bodies can make a little bit of those amino acids, but only a few grams a day. We do need to consume additional glycine and proline to prevent a deficiency the target should be 10 grams of glycine per day. Vitamin C is an essential cofactor for collagen synthesis. There's also trace minerals that are required for collagen synthesis, but I think most diets get sufficient amounts of those trace minerals. Animal products are most rich in glycine and proline. If you ate two servings of pork per day or two or three servings of chicken, you would get the 10 grams just fine, but many climbers don't eat much meat products. And so that's where a supplemental protein source that is high in glycine and proline can be helpful, such as hydrolyzed collagen. Hydrolyzed collagen is a more refined version of gelatin, which means it dissolves more easily. The protocol done in the research to really optimize and target the glycine and the proline to where the body part you want is to consume the hydrolyzed collagen one hour before you do your training. So that way the collagen protein digests into the amino acids, into your bloodstream. You get this spike of glycine and proline in the serum at about one hour. And so that is when you want to train your fingers or elbows or shoulders, whatever body part you want to target the collagen to. The mechanical loading of the tendons draws in synovial fluid from around the tendon. And that is how they get most of their nourishment because connective tissues, tendons and ligaments are virtually avascular. There's a little bit of blood flow around the periphera, some capillaries around the endotendon. The center of the tendons are nearly avascular and they get their nutrition through this fluid diffusion during exercise. And so the nourishment that you consume after you exercise is readily carried to the muscles because they have many capillaries and the blood flow continues after workout to carry nutrients to the muscle. But once you stop loading your fingers, that fluid flow in and out of the tendons and ligaments largely ceases. And therefore they have a tough time getting nutrients. The supercharged collagen, which is the product that I developed over the last two years, is based on the research. This is is really the highest in terms of concentration of glycine that you can get, even higher than pork. It has vitamin C enrichment like was done in the research. I've also enriched it with L-leucine, which is an amino acid that has been shown to be a signal of protein synthesis in the body. And I've also added a small amount of tryptophan to give it a complete amino acid profile. So an athlete or a climber who wants to supplement or get more glycine into their diet and they don't want to eat all that meat, the, the super supercharged collagen is a product you can go to as a supplement. If you're really into nutrition and study the foods you eat and know how to combine foods, I think you can get the job done without supplemental protein. But many people just don't have the knowledge nor the discipline to really follow through and get the job done consistently. To mix up a, a hydrolyzed collagen drink before you work out is a pretty simple thing to do. Full disclosure, I'm not sponsored and I won't receive any commission either if you purchase anything from Fizzy Vantage. I have neither a biology nor chemistry background to understand the very details of the science. However, I trust Eric's knowledge and the peer reviews for the research papers. Personally, I have started to consume the supercharged collagen, but I haven't feel an obvious effect yet. I'm also not sure what's a fair way to measure the effect of nutrition either. Save my finger recovering a short period of time. 
It could be because of nutrition, but it could also be because of rehabbing exercises. Or you could even argue that my finger injury isn't as severe in the first place. If you know a good way to measure nutrition, comment below and let me know. In any case, I'm going to try every possible way to speed up my recovery so I can start making climbing videos again. Be sure to check out Eric's podcast, website, and YouTube channel especially if you are serious in climbing. As always, Make sure to like and subscribe. See you in the next video.